my gosh. I was about to get ready for bed and then I was like, wait, <laughs> do I wanna play with makeup first? I do this all the time where I feel like before I'm gonna shower, I feel like I might as well sit down and try out some makeup. And this time I thought to myself, why don't I film it? If you guys don't already know, this is my full-time job and I still pinch myself every single day of my life that I get sent free makeup in the mail all the time. It helps me so much with my reviews, but also as you know, there are so many new things launching all the time and therefore so many new packages are piling in at all times, which is, you know, a dream come true, but really hard for me to keep up with. So I figured before I get ready for bed tonight, why don't we go through some of my PR boxes or my mail and see if there's anything that I'm dying to try. I told you guys in a previous video, I've been trying to not wait for the perfect moment to try things. It's my new year's resolution. So this is another one of those moments where it's like, I'm not going to wait for the perfectly, you know, curated video to sift through some of this mail and see if there's anything interesting that we might find. So I'm going to take you over to my boxes and show you all the new makeup that I've received recently. So right now I've got things in bins. <laughs> These are the things that I've taken out of their boxes. I still have even more makeup that I need to go through, but this is recent-ish launches that I've been dying to go through and try, but haven't had a chance. So let's go ahead and dig through some of these things and see what we want to try out today. You know what? I've wanted to try out these Sigma lip oils for a long time. These are some fun palettes from Profusion. I feel like I'm finally somewhat getting my life together when it comes to finding a system for these things. As you can see, I have so much makeup here and this is all new things. So I'm gonna be doing giveaways coming up soon because I do not need every single thing in here, you know? I wanna be able to share it with you guys. I'm actually planning on doing some giveaways over on TikTok, so I will have my TikTok link down below. Okay, this is really hard to like dig through, so I'm just gonna dump it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, I've wanted to try this Makeup Forever Water Tone Foundation for forever. This launched a while back and I still have yet to try it. Hopefully one of these shades will work for me. I'm gonna set these aside. Oh, I found another one. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. I actually bought this for myself. This is the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur. I'm gonna set this aside. Maybe we'll throw that on the face as well. I've wanted to try this out for a while. This is from Linda Hallberg Cosmetics. It's a lip product, so maybe we'll swatch a few lip products just depending on everything that I'm interested in. I have yet to try these Rare Beauty brow powders. So these are kind of fun. They have a little brush on the side. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for this everywhere. I am a humongous fan of these Makeup Forever powders and this is a lighter shade that I knew I had somewhere and I didn't know where I had lost it and now I found it. Bucket number two, I actually was sent a bunch of stuff from Laura Geller, which I'm still wanting to try. And I honestly do think I want to try all these all together. So I'm going to push these aside. I love their powder foundation. So I was really excited and grateful when they sent me more things to try. I just haven't gotten around to it. Okay. This one has some larger things and some entire PR kits here. These look really pretty. Artist Rouge Shine On Lipsticks. Interesting. Okay. I have been wanting to try this for so long. These launched a while back. This is from the brand Glowit which is Huda Beauty's more like natural as far as the aesthetic goes brand. And I'm really wanting to try out the luminous powder and also all these blushes I've wanted to try. Let's see if there's one that I want to try first. How about Healthy Peach? We've got some NARS backups. We've got some Bobbi Brown products in here too. I have heard amazing things about this loose powder from Makeup Forever. And I think it's time to try it out. You know, I keep waiting for the perfect moment and it hasn't come yet. So so maybe today's the day. Okay, people are obsessed with these palettes from Essence. Here are two that I'm the most interested in, so maybe let's try these out. This collab was so cute. I still have yet to try the polish, but it was Lights Lacquer and Sol de Janeiro. So cute. I'm definitely gonna be putting this cute collection in a giveaway coming up. These are really cute. These are the new lip products from Kaja. Maybe I'll put these to the side. We might be trying out a few lippies tonight, but that's usually what I do anyway. If it's a late night makeup try on, I'm usually switching out my lip color the most. Sometimes as I go through my bins, 
I get a little overwhelmed. Just because I love makeup so much and I'm so grateful for everything that I'm sent and I want to be able to try and review and give a fair shot to everything that I'm sent, but it's just, I don't think it's possible. Okay, I've moved over to another bin just to see if there's any last minute things I wanna add. I've received all of these things pretty recently in PR. I actually have really wanted to try out this right here, which is the House Labs collection. So I might take this whole thing and just see if there's anything we wanna test out in the studio. Okay, I think we found some pretty good things. Even though it didn't technically make a dent, I'm really excited to get my first impressions on these things that I've been wanting to try for forever. So let's go ahead and go in the studio and we'll try everything out. So I didn't technically grab a primer, but I'm gonna try out this Vita Liberata Beauty Blur in the shade Latte Light. Again, I bought this and forgot. <laughs> this is a three-in-one tinted face moisturizer that evens out your skin tone, covers imperfections, and gives the most radiant skin finish. Okay. I'm just gonna use my fingertips to apply this. I'm probably gonna be layering in a few different things today because I've got a foundation. We've got this tinted product. We've got powders. Oh, so this is glowy. Okay. I'm gonna blend it down the neck. My self tanner is so spotchy and I'm so upset about it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. I know I already told you guys recently, but I'm like, truly, like that's just unacceptable. And I feel like I'm not bad at self tanner usually, but this time it really just threw me for a loop. <laughs> Okay, wow, that is glowy. The reason why I picked this up is because I have the Vita Liberata Body Blur. It is gorgeous. If you're ever on vacation and you just need your skin to look airbrushed and blurred, it's such a good product for that. But this is like the face version, so that's really pretty. We're gonna layer a foundation on top of it. So literally, this is what I do. And this is why I can't really do a full on wear test because <laughs> I'm layering so many different things. But I wanted to try out the Makeup Forever Water Tone Foundation. Is that way too light? Mm, kinda sorta. I'm just confused with my self tanner on. Let's go ahead and apply this. So this is the shade R230. We're just gonna go for it. I have nowhere to be tonight, so <laughs> it's a little bit too light, that's all right. It has quite an intense scent to it, which I was not expecting. Normally I feel like Makeup Forever doesn't have that much of a smell added in their products. All right, so that's blending in nicely. It's definitely very watery, which is not surprising <laughs> based off of the title of it. Let's go ahead and press it into the skin with my sponge. Okay, this is looking extremely natural. I'm not sure if it really added that much coverage. I think it canceled out a little bit of redness on top of that Vita Liberata product, but it didn't do too much. I wasn't expecting it to do much at all, honestly, because it just seemed like a your skin but better type of a product. I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer now. I'm just gonna take my NYX Serum Concealer and use this to brighten up the under eyes. I probably could have found a new concealer to use, but I didn't wanna overwhelm myself too much and I genuinely wanted to reach into the things that I've been dying to try for so long and just haven't, you know? This is genuinely what I do. After hours, you know, after I've worked already, I still like to wind down and do my makeup sometimes, which is kind of crazy, I guess, but it also shows me how much I love what I do, honestly. All right, so we're gonna move into the Makeup Forever setting powder. This is the Ultra HD setting powder. I grabbed the shade Vanilla. I do believe this comes in several shades, but it's brand new. I've heard such good things about this. I'm so excited to try it. Okay, oh, so it has a little stopper and then Let's just remove the seal. All right, let's see what this powder has to offer. I'm gonna take it on my smaller brush and just start to set the under eyes with this. Ooh, oh my goodness, that's nice. It's so buttery, wow. You know how some powders are more silky feeling? This is more buttery feeling. <laughs> that is so nice. Oh my gosh, no wonder I've been hearing good things. I'm dumping some out into the cap. And I'm just continuing to set the face with this. I'm gonna use a bit of a fluffier brush to set the sides of the face. Okay, I'm noticing that this is adding a little bit of coverage, which I actually like because I do have a little bit of redness on my cheeks. So it's nice to know that when I'm setting this, it's adding a tiny bit of coverage, but it's not anything too overwhelming. It still shears out somewhat. I'm liking this. 
Sometimes I wonder if I'll ever get tired of trying new makeup and I just don't think I will. This is truly my dream job. I cannot believe it. I pinch myself every single day, you guys. I've said this in a video before, but I'll say it again, but it wasn't that long ago where I was sitting at home, like many of you are, watching beauty videos, like you guys obviously are right now, and just dreaming about like what it must be like to be able to try makeup for a living or, you know, receive PR in the mail or whatever it was. And I just, I will never get used to this because I dreamt about it for so long. I'm just so grateful for it. And you guys are the ones who made it happen. So thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I wish I could repay you all in a small way, which which is why I'm gonna do more giveaways soon. You Clearly, I don't need all this makeup. I wanna share it with you guys. Once I get things organized a little more, I'm really excited to do much more frequent giveaways so that you guys can enjoy the makeup that I receive as well. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and just add a little bit of warmth to the skin. I'm liking how this is looking. All right, for brows, I grabbed the Rare Beauty Brow Powder, which I forgot they launched these. I filmed a video with new Rare Beauty products not too long ago, and I said that I didn't have a Rare Beauty brow product, but I did. I just forgot. So we're gonna use the shade, let's see, they sent me light brown and taupe. I think I wanna dip into the shade taupe, which looks like this. So it's got two different colors of brow powder, and then it's got this right here, whoa. <laughs> this brush that goes into the side and it's got a nice angle to it. So I'm gonna try using this brush. I'm gonna go into the first shade, this one, which looks like it's slightly lighter. And I'm gonna start filling in the brows with this. I'm actually a fan of brow powders. Sometimes I feel like I'm not able to use a brow powder by itself. Cause for me, I like a little bit more sculpting, but this brush is actually doing a pretty good job. I dipped into the other color and I'm using that on the end. Hmm, maybe I just need a different color might be too warm for me. Okay, I feel like that went on pretty nicely. I actually don't mind the applicator. I think it does a good job at filling in the brows pretty precisely. I can't do my brows without a spoolie though, so I'm just gonna take a spoolie from another pencil and brush through. I do think I would need maybe a more cool toned color to be able to get it right where I like it. Yeah, there's things I like about it and things I don't love about it. I think the thing I don't love is the undertone, but I was actually surprised at the application. It was easier than I thought it would be. All right, let's dip into these Essence eyeshadow palettes. I'm trying to pick which one I wanna use. So we've got the, I like to move it, move it, <laughs> or taupe it up, which is more of a cool tone. I Okay, I open this and I'm like, that's the one I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here and throw this into my crease and a little bit above as my transition shade. They came out with several different shades of this palette, but these two were definitely the ones that I was the most inspired by. I'm gonna shape out my lower lash line with that same color. Next, I'm gonna dip into the gray color and we're just gonna add a little bit of dimension on the outer edge of the eye with this. And I'm also applying it along the lower lash line on the outer third. All right, so now I'm gonna take this shimmer shade and I'm just gonna apply it with my fingertips all over the eyelid. I'm gonna take my Cali Ray mascara and just apply this to the top and bottom lashes. I actually love that soft gray taupey kind of eyeshadow. I think it looks so nice. All right, so I also grabbed the Glowish Luminous Pressed Powder. I'm wanting to just apply this maybe on the outer portions of the face. So I'm gonna pick that up on a powder brush and this is in the shade 01 Fair. Whoa, I immediately see a sheen. Oh my. I saw on this launch that you're supposed to apply it with a sponge, but it is way too pearly to apply with a sponge, in my opinion. Just based off of putting it on with a brush? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I can't tell how I feel about this. I mean, clearly it's only a first impressions, but let me know if you guys have tried this and if you love it, how do you apply it? Do you use a sponge? Do you use it as foundation or what? Cause I feel like it's so luminous. It almost looks like a highlight on my skin. I don't mind a little bit of shimmer in my blush and that's what this is, I think. This is the Glowish Cheeky Blush in the shade Healthy Peach. So cute. Look at this. Is this gonna be too light? There's only one way to find out. We're gonna go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna smile and apply it to the apples of my cheeks. Yeah, this is definitely a very soft color, but maybe it goes well with my eyeshadow. This comes in lots of shades, so maybe I just need to try a deeper color because this isn't doing too much for me. It gives a hint of color. If you're not huge on blush and you don't want super rosy cheeks and maybe you have a more fair skin tone, you might like this, but I'm having to really build it up. I don't know. Or do I like it? I don't know. It's getting late. <laughs> 
Should we try a few lipsticks? So these are the new Kaja Love Swipe Matte Lipsticks. I wanna try the shade 02 Sweet Softy. I think they're supposed to be like a matte liquid lipstick type of thing. Really cute packaging. Okay, let's try this on. I'm gonna wipe off the foundation of the lips first. Ooh, oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, okay, so it's like a jelly, moussey formula. Really interesting. And then when you kind of blend it out, it dries down a little more moussey. That's kind of a fun formula. Plus the packaging is so cute. I feel like I'm going very 60s on accident with this look. Such a unique formula. Hmm, it's actually not what I expected. I don't know what I was expecting, but I feel like I'll have to wear those for a while to see how they might wear throughout the day. I wanna try out the Fantastic from Linda Hallberg Cosmetics. This is a lipstick and it's in the shade Pink Opal. Let's give this a try. Ooh, oh, I think that's super pretty. It's a really nice kind of glossy, balmy lipstick type product. And that color is gorgeous. Ooh, yeah, I could definitely see myself using this. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna set it right here on my desk so I can wear it again tomorrow. Let's try one of the Sigma Renew Lip Oils. Hmm, I wanna try the shade Tranquil, which is more of a bright pink. Whoa, oh, it's definitely more sticky than I thought, but still gives the lips quite a bit of shine, which is nice. Hmm, I was expecting a little bit more of like a lip oil feel. It feels hydrating, but it's definitely a lot stickier. Now it doesn't feel so bad, weird. Hmm, it's pretty though. I'm gonna open up one of the House Labs cheek and lip color. Oh wow, this packaging is to die for. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Ooh, it's like a baked formula, but apparently you can put it on your lips. Oh my goodness, this is the shade Spritz. Oh, these, so pretty. Ooh, there's two more. Mm. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is called Rossini. Ooh, wow, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, there's one more. This is called Bellini. Oh my gosh, look at these. I'm glad that I finally opened these. Look at that. Oh, we gotta try one, maybe two. Let's do Bellini. I'm just gonna dip my brush into this and layer it on top of that existing color. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. And then we're gonna take Rossini, which is that gorgeous pink, and I'm gonna add it to the apples of the cheeks. Oh my gosh. I have to try it on the lips. Maybe I'll just dip my finger into the pan and press it onto the lips. What? <gasps> Are you kidding me? That's just the prettiest thing I've ever seen. It feels so bizarre placing a powder onto your lips, but because I had a little bit of moisture on it, I feel like it's really sticking. Let's try a little bit of the Bellini shade. We'll mix that in. <gasps> oh, see, this is fun. This is what we came here for. And they have a gloss, hold on. We gotta see what it does when I put a gloss on top. They came up with three different glosses. Whoa, that's really pretty, but I might need something a little bit softer. Oh, I think they're all glittery. Yeah, they're all shimmery, glittery glosses, which I do wanna try that, but I have something in my mind. I need to try just a clear gloss on top. Let's see, what do I have? Oh, I know. Let's go back to the lip oil pile and we'll use the color Hush. It looks like it might tint the lips though a little with the pH because the brush is pink. So I don't know. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. What, like who knew? That was the most exciting discovery of this video. These. I sure hope they're still around. Oh no. Oh, good news. They're still here. There's a couple shades that are sold out, but they're still here. Wow, okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Casa Gaga pink blush. This is called Rossini. And we gotta throw this into the crease a little bit. We gotta make things a little more warm tone, don't we? I can't get over my lip color. However, I do think we need to try out some of those glosses. I wanna try this, mm, this one, Granita. Okay, whoa, whoa, that's glittery. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, this is fun. It's actually way prettier on the lips than you think it is when you just look at it in the bottle. This feels like a special occasion type of gloss. It's not something that I would, you know, have in my purse. <laughs> but who are we kidding? We gotta go back to the blush lips. Those are just too good. I'm mixing in some of that peach color. All right, one last thing I wanna try is the Casa Gaga highlighter from the House Labs collection. Ooh, looks like it might be a little deep for me but let's try it. That is so pretty. I love the baked formula. Wow, this is so nice. I am just upset with myself that I hadn't tried this collection sooner. That's really pretty. It's a little bit too deep, but I still think it works. There's a little bit of like a gold undertone when I'm facing forward, but once I turn my head, it reflects really well. 
pretty. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we definitely tried out quite a few products. Let's go through what I loved the most. I'm actually excited to keep using the Vita Liberata tinted primer face moisturizer thing. It was really glowy, really beautiful, and as a primer, I actually liked how it added a little bit of coverage and a little bit of glow, so I'm gonna leave this on my desk and really give it a fair shot. I actually like the texture of the water tone foundation from Makeup Forever, but the scent is still lingering on my skin, and I'm already starting to get a headache from it, which I haven't ever experienced that with Makeup Forever products, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wear that solely because of the strong fragrance. The Makeup Forever powder was butter on the skin. I can see why people love it so much already. I know it's just a first impressions, but I'm keeping this on my desk to use later because I love how it felt and how it looks underneath the eyes. It just really melted into the skin, blurred things out, added a little coverage. I was really impressed. How cute was this eyeshadow palette? I mean, the tones are very light. So for me, it's just giving a little bit of definition, but I actually really liked it. Plus it's essence, so it's really affordable. It makes me want to try the other colors. I thought it was so cute. I'm glad that I finally tried those out. The Kaja Love Swipe lip products, they're really unique. I'm going to keep playing with them. It's not something that I was floored about, you know, based off of just trying one shade. So I do need to try the other shades, but I'll keep you guys posted. I feel like I'm definitely the most excited about these Blushes from House Labs. Was not expecting to love these as much as I am. But how pretty is that to have a little bit of like a soft, powdery, blurred lip look that matches your cheeks? I'm all about it. Plus the packaging is to die for. I'm so excited about these. This highlight is pretty, but I'll probably have to wait till summertime to really get a lot of use out of it. Well, maybe not. I'm still gonna keep it on my desk just to try it out in more natural light because it is dark outside right now, so I'll keep giving that a go. House Labs glosses are a little bit too sparkly for me, but they really are beautiful for photos or for a special occasion, but I don't know if I you know, would go out and repurchase a product like this just because of the amount of glitter in it, but to each their own. Maybe there's people who love that. The Sigma lip oils. I actually, I like the clear one. Now that I tried that one, I'll probably get the most use out of this. It's a little stickier than you might think, but still pretty, still gives a really nice shine. I love a good hydrating lip product that adds shine and gloss, so that was really nice. I did really like the Linda Hallberg lipstick as well. I thought this color was really pretty. I could see myself reaching for that quite a bit, so that was nice. I wasn't that impressed by the glowish products, actually. You guys tell me, how do you wear this foundation? If you've tried it, let me know, because it went viral there for a hot minute. This blush color, it was a little bit too light for me. I preferred the Casa Gaga one, but that's just me. I like my blush to be more pigmented. I really hope I'm not missing anything, but I think out of everything that I tried, I'm the very most excited about the powder and these blushes. If I had to just pick a couple of things, that's what I'm really giddy about, you know, waking up tomorrow and putting on my face again. I mean, I'm really actually happy with how my makeup turned out, but those were my top two. Oh, the Rare Beauty Brow product. Product. Well, it was okay. You know, I think I like the Anastasia brow powder a little bit better as of now, and it could be the shade, but I wasn't floored by it, but the applicator was actually easier to use than I initially thought it would be. Well, friends, that completes this video. I'm gonna be able to go to bed tonight knowing that I found some really good gems today, which I'm excited about. I hope you enjoyed seeing me shop my stash, going through my PR things and, you know, trying things that I've been wanting to try for so long. This video really put me in a good mood being able to dig into those things that I've been wanting to try but haven't had a chance to, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.